Hmm. Uh, Sean's already unmuted. Okay, hey Sean. Yes, Hello, Steve. So you failed. How are you doing? You failed the challenge. <laughs> you guys hear that? He said I failed again. I think I counted 15 times he said I failed. Or because he's done. Uh, where, where, where in your video did you show Polaris? I, the whole video. You can. No, you, you didn't. didn't. No, you didn't. You showed a guy standing under Polaris and then looking at some other star that's dropping in his field of view while he's standing under Polaris. You, you just failed, said, Black Floyd. You, just said you failed, but you, you failed to draw a horizontal line divided into nine equal segments and one vertical line at, at whichever end of the line that you drew and putting Polaris somewhere on that vertical line, then drawing lines down from Polaris to each one of those nine marks that you made on that horizontal line and showing how those angles tr match those uh, 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 latitude degrees. You failed, Flatzoid. You sure. utterly, you mean, utterly you failed. The model you made, Sean. Yes, that's absolutely how you do. What a crock, mate. You have no idea what you're talking about, you clown. Uh, See, I proved it. Oh, I proved that it only works on a sphere, oh, and it does oh, not true. work on a flat Earth. Sure. Because yes. I did the Polaris challenge correctly, I used the known angles of Polaris from different latitudes, sure. and proved that it is impossible on a flat Earth. Sure. The geometry does not work, and Flatsoid failed sure. to, to take that challenge and complete it. I'm going to mute you. I can, talk, can you fail? No, there's not a challenge. You complete clown. He failed. No, it is a challenge, and he failed at it. Every every letter was terrified of this challenge. They refuse to do it because they know that it will show them wrong. We've just that. sat and watched the full video. You were doing no bit swear and calling him names. You've proved no, Sean. You're a foul-mouthed, horrible person. You have no. Yeah, clue and you're a fucking moron. What are you talking about? You're prick. a moron. Well, I might be a moron, but this moron's cleverer than no, you. No, you are. Okay, guys, I have muted Sean because he doesn't want to listen while I'm talking. Because I have warned him now four times. Anyway, Sean, if you're watching, look at my screen, please. What does this show you? You just made, in your same sentence, you say, I don't show Polaris. And two seconds later, you say, I show Polaris. Contradicting yourself. Second and all, you're telling me I do not show any angles matching reality. What is the screen showing you, Sean? Please do... I'm going to unmute you, but please tell me what the screen says, okay? Okay, Sean, what the does screen, the screen say? Sean? The screen yes. shows a man stationary, not at different latitudes. Um, he, isn't, he isn't moving to different both, latitudes and observing both, Polaris. Both, he, you're observing a star that, that drops in his field of view while he's standing stationary. And that's not what Polaris does. Sean? Oh, really? So... You, the Polaris doesn't, if you're taking a 30 degree angle of Polaris, it's not sitting at 30 degrees. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm saying that if you're standing at 50 degrees latitude and you look at Polaris, it will be 50 degrees above the horizon. That's what I'm telling you. And you have not demonstrated that here. What is he looking at 50 degrees above the horizon, Sean? It's 50, he measured 50 degrees. That's what that is, a 50 degree angle above the horizon. Are you this dumb? You've shown Polaris 30 feet above his head and 30 no. feet away from him. No. Yes. Yeah, you you take his height, if you take his height, which is approximately six feet, and you divide that into how high that, that you say Polaris is or how far away it is, that's five times his height or four uh, Sean, times. Sean? It's about 24, 24 feet above his head. That's, uh, what, your, that's what your illustration shows. Uh, you have not Sean? shown, you have not shown him moving from latitude to latitude line and observing Polaris at a stationary point. You have combined perspective and orthographic views into one, and that is not allowed. You guys all agree with me that this guy is not even trying to listen what's going on? He's outright ignoring this. So you're telling me 5,400 nautical miles at zero is false. No, I'm saying that's correct, but that only works oh, on a but you sphere. Just said it, it does not work on a flat earth. It, I just showed you it's on a flat earth. Um, 80 degrees okay. is 600. Let me ask you a question. Away. Let me ask. I don't care what your chart shows. You've not shown him observing 
from different latitude lines observing it its angle see when you show up for when you show an orthographic view like this you have to show it polaris in its actual position not in its apparent position due to perspective you've combined perspective and orthographic view that's one thing that gary wybinga did that he failed at oh so you got a problem with showing reality because we actually live in a three-dimensional world that's got perspective in it is that your problem no, my problem is that you don't understand how perspective works. Perspective is not an orthographic view. Guys, you have, you have combined the two. Um, let's go back to showing how it is actually. Okay, let's move him again. Tell me again, he's not moving, Sean. I'm not. I'm gonna mute it. He's looking at it 80 degrees. In other words, no, the star's moving. He's, he's not moving. He's oh, really? not moving. He's yes, really. He's measuring at 80 degrees, Sean. He's, he's not. At 80 degrees, he, is, Sean. he hasn't moved. He hasn't moved. He's going to that move is a star. That is a star that travels overhead. That's no. not Polaris. Okay, let's Polaris see. stays at the same height, dude. You've shown it drop no, in altitude. Show me, show me in reality. You're, you're showing it dropping. You're showing it Sean? dropping in altitude. Sean, show me. It's right Polaris there on your screen. Show me in reality Polaris staying at the same light no matter your latitude. Please just show me that. I want to see this. Show your share your screen. Look at that guys. It's dropping. Because why? Perspective. Because he measures uh, You're degrees. showing you are showing an orthographic view. That's not perspective. Um angle measurements are orthographic, Sean. It's a two-dimensional. Right, you are angle. showing a, a thing that does not drop in altitude. Drop in altitude. That's not orthographic. Do you know what you are saying here, Sean? Yes, I know exactly what I'm saying, and you are wrong. Okay. Now, you now do the challenge degree, right, dude. Do the take, challenge right. If you take do the challenge degree, right. If you take a sixty-degree angle. Fail. Right? Do the a, challenge correctly. If you take a sixty-degree angle, I don't want your excuses. If you, I don't want your excuses. Do the fucking challenge right. If you I'm out of here until you can do it right. I'm not gonna fucking talk to you, and I'm gonna coward. obliterate you. Bye, coward. Later. Bye, coward. A coward. Guys, you're a, you're terrified to this, do the challenge correctly. Um, you're a fucking a coward. Sh I'm You're waiting a fucking for you. coward. I'm waiting for you to. There you go. He just triggered, triggered back. What an obnoxious person! And you guys saw I didn't kick him. He triggered and he ran. So, guys, the positive claim he made is Polaris doesn't. If you take an angle measurement at sixty degrees, it doesn't show at sixty degrees. If you take a measurement at thirty degrees, it doesn't show at thirty degrees. It's always at the same height. Same altitude. That's his claim, people. Wow. So, Sean, based on your total idiocy, would you please be so kind to show us footage, evidence of measurements where Polaris is staying at exactly the same altitude while you're taking the angled measurements? That would be great. That was funny. This, this is like, I was happy he came on. This is why he knew he lost. This is why he had to get triggered and he left. So everybody, thank you. Thank you for being here. I mean, I had more to show, but obviously <laughs> he couldn't handle the truth, Owen, exactly. And you know, other clown trolls that are in here trying to hold his hand, you guys know, you guys have nothing. Sean just obliterated the globe totally based on his own claims. Let me reiterate again, guys. Sean says, Different latitude measurements of Polaris does not change height of Polaris. It doesn't change the altitude. So if you are taking a 30 degree angle measurement altitude, altitude angle, is going to be exactly the same altitude as taking a 70 degree altitude angle measurement. That's his claim. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for showing you you should go to Grundakis and get your head examined. He did say that Donald, he said 50 degrees is the same as 
80 degrees, it doesn't change height. He said that it doesn't change altitude at all, no matter the different altitude, ah, different angles you take, Donald. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ah, this, this was brilliant. It went out actually better than I thought it would. And then he had to rage quit because he doesn't even want to let me talk. So yeah. And he says it doesn't work on a flat earth. Well, I showed him f only works on a flat earth. Okay. Let's see. Um, do we have more than we can show? I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, oh yeah, there. I wanted to show this perspective grid. What happened there? It goes, it converges to this perspective grid. Uh, what else did I want to show? Oh yeah. Just wanted to show those lights. Is it physically going into the convergence? Is it physically dropping, Sean? Is that angle the same angle measurement as this one, Sean? Is the height still the same? Yes. But is the apparent altitude the same? No, Sean. This one picture alone just debunks your whole argument. One picture. That angle is going to have a different angular altitude measurement to that angular altitude measurement. Why? Because the linear relationship is distance to altitude angle. And that picture alone debunks your whole globe. Thank you, Sean, for throwing your globe away. I hope you can get McTune and them to uh, help you because they're probably going to be in the same boat as you. This is devastating. <sighs> so how will you put this again, guys? He says this angular measurement is the same height as that measurement. Let's save this quickly. I think uh, let's put it on the desktop and let's draw a line to it. This should be quite fun. Um, let's sort of do it then, yeah. Uh, new slide. So thank you guys for coming again. This was, it's gone much better than I thought. Uh, insert image. Upload from computer, desktop. And there we go. Ah, okay, Sean. And co. Let's add lines. A 90 degree line. Okay. Let's make it red. Why don't we? He says this one is going to have the same height as this one. This one, let's see, is measuring at 30 degrees. And this one I'm measuring at 70 degrees. Do they appear to have the same height? No. It's apparent altitude. I'm making it as simple as I can to explain to you. Perspective. This 70 degrees, let's just say, has a different apparent altitude than that 30 degrees. The actual height is still the same. The apparent height has changed. This is angular change. Angular apparent. It's perspective. It's only optical. Welcome to Flat Earth. <laughs>